tiny little baby little little tiny city little oh it's so cute mm, that's the word of the month hello cozy friends how are you hey how you doing i feel as if it's been a long time because for me it has for me for me <laughs> it's been like two weeks i don't know i'm not gonna bother to figure that out but it's been a while because i was in portland P -p -p portland i was traveling and this weekend i'm traveling again i'm going to twitchcon if you're seeing this i think twitchcon will be over pierre's birthday emily's birthday okay and then it's the end of spring oh my god i'll be posting about being at twitchcon before that on my instagram so hopefully anyone who's gonna be there will see it on my other socials but that's where i'll be and I had so much fun in Portland, you guys. I had so much fun. Literally the second I got there, and is this confirmation bias? Maybe. Maybe I already decided I wanted a fresh start in Portland, okay? Maybe I had rose-colored, rose-tinted glasses. However, it was lovely. I loved it. Eddie can um, can co-sign that, okay? Because they were there the whole time, longer than I was. And they loved it too. I loved it. I loved that there was like, the city is very like how I've described DC was before and why I liked living in DC. It's like a mini city. It's like a manageable, tiny little baby, little, little tiny city, little, ooh, it's so cute. And the, the streets aren't like hectic and scary and huge. Like in SF, they're just massive. They're so big and there's so many weird turn lanes and things happening. Uh-uh. In Portland, they're like these cute little cobblestone streets streets lined with beautiful trees Ugh, and i know a lot of people talked about like this is just gonna show my you know desensitization desensitization but a lot of people online and um a couple of you guys were like be careful of portland because it's pretty dicey y'all i think i'm permanently altered my idea of what is dicey is permanently changed from living in west oakland earlier and living in sf and not like not living in sf but like going to sf often nothing is dicey in comparison so i was like this is this is lovely this is fine and also i do not consider houseless people a hindrance or a um inconvenience so i that's not like something that i ever is not a negative for me i'm i'm just it is what it is you know the price of living in a beautiful place is you're gonna have people who are houseless and want to be there too or have to be there because the other states push them out anyways um that's for another day but it was lovely i loved it i loved the nature mixed with the city mixed with the accessibility like it was easy to get around in a car and the suburbs were beautiful the suburbs were exactly what i needed i was like if the suburbs ain't right i'm not moving here and um i asked my partner just like drive around a lot whenever we had free time Ooh we were the vibes right the vibes were so right y'all oh my god everything perfect so we're get we'll see i think that's the plan um and i think just like the months before I'll, i move i'll be like vigorously searching for the perfect you know place i'm hoping to find like a i'm hoping to find like a, a nice house and not like an apartment complex because i've noticed that the apartment complexes tend to be the same price if not more and the windows and stuff aren't as nice and huge and beautiful and you know looking out onto beautiful trees and such so i'll just be searching non-stop okay if you happen to be searching around the same time too in june what's the month before that may and june send them over to me dm them to me like hey found a place for you but you don't have to do that because i will be doing that myself so that's that that was fun and we went to riley's wedding which was beautiful it was amazing it was it was mm, chef's kiss it was perfect yeah portland was great i think that's all i had to say on that topic thanks for listening to my spiel about life changes. So what are we working on today? I also have like other other topics in my head that I've been wanting to talk about for so long. So we will get to those as soon as I figure out what we're doing today. I think we were finishing up fishing maybe? We needed it to rain is what we needed, but I don't know. Beautiful. I'm gonna tend to my animals because I feel like I haven't tended to them in a very long time. My animales. Hello. Finally getting all these truffles. Don't mind me. Also, I saw that y'all said I need to ha I need to have the some kind of 
career path to get the iridium truffles. And clearly I didn't choose that one because I'm in level 10 farming or whatever and I don't have that. So I think I just didn't choose that path. I choose, chose the other one and I don't know why. I don't know which one I chose. Let's see. It would be, it would be farming probably. Oh, I did artisan, which you know what? I think that might, I think that might be better. If they're worth 40% more, at least that's what the guide told me would be better. I don't know. Oh, so I told y'all that I've been on my grind. I've been on my, not my grind. Oh my God. I've been on my um, straight boy investment journey. That's only continued, unfortunately. <laughs> I've only gotten more into it and I've read a couple books, audiobooks on the subject so far. I actually like have found joy from it and I think it's because I have a goal now and I can't talk about, I can't talk about these things until, let me see like early to mid December and then I will fill you 100% in and you'll be like I totally understand what Kennedy was talking about I have spe a specific financial goal a couple actually but like one main financial goal and having that goal I I tell you I tell you what <laughs> Having that goal lit a fire under my ass and made it so that like learning about finances and like budgeting and investing has become more interesting because I'm like working towards that goal and actually doing the things and carrying out the actions needed to get there is also something I could do because that like that's the thing I have the most trouble with. Like I've set a bunch of budgets before. I've like done budgeting apps and things like that, but it's the follow through that's hard for me and it's the setting up the like automation of things that previously has been hard for me because I haven't had a goal. So I will just like, I'm like, there's nothing that I want to save for. Like there's no mission. There's no purpose in me doing any of this. So I don't know. I'm just going to buy myself cool home decorations instead because that's a very present goal or like something I actually want. But now having this thing that like is I'm striving towards and I really genuinely care about is lighting a fire under mass. I don't know what to tell you. Like it's it's I haven't like spent money, unnecessary money for like two weeks so far, um, which is unheard of. I've been like very frugal with which, you know, this is not all of this is not necessary, but I'm just I'm being extra about it because when I'm all in, I'm all in. It's not raining, so what should I do? Okay, bug guts and a hundred pieces of bone. I could do the hundred pieces of bone, Gunther. They're not gonna be fresh bone. I hope he doesn't want fresh bone. They're not gonna be fresh bone. Let's see. Gather, frick. Yeah, that, that's not happening, buddy. Sorry. Anyways, if you are struggling, if you, like me, used to struggle with <laughs> setting budgets and sticking to them and then like knowing exactly where your money's going and caring about where your money's going, like set a very tangible goal. Like don't just set a goal of like, I want to save money generally. I want to save money to like pay off the debt that I have, you know, like vaguely. No. Set a specific budget. Say like, I want to pay. And you know what's funny is I've heard this in like multiple videos before and it never clicked until I actually had something that I needed. To. Anyways, set like it needs to be so specific. It needs to be something that you, you need to get to the point where it's something that you genuinely care about. So if you want to like improve your setup or something like you want to be able to buy more games you want to be able to whatever create a savings fund for specifically that and funnel whatever you can every month like track what you're spending funnel whatever you can every month so that you have set aside money for gaming fund for a new switch fund for a new monitor fund like make it something specific and or if you have like debt you want to pay off prior to getting those things and you know that you should pay it off before you get those things then put put the debt before then so it's like a reward so you can be like okay i'm gonna pay off this much my debt and then i can start saving up for this thing or i'm gonna pay off this amount, much debt and every time i pay off a little bit of this debt i can put a little bit in this fund for this thing that i actually want so it's like a little treat it's like a reward and having something specific i'm i don't brain human brains are weird i don't know why but it works and I am like excited. Like it makes me excited to save money. It makes me excited not to spend my money on dumb crap. It makes me excited to be like, mm -mm, I'm not going to put this Amazon purchase, press the 
purchase button because you know what I want to save this for my goal so I'm gonna put this in save for later and think about it like it really changes your mindset and that's just something I learned this past month-ish kind of and also what I've learned is the importance of I know people say this often, which again, I didn't listen to until I actually had to do it in practice, which you know what? I think that's okay. Sometimes we have to do things in practice ourselves to learn our lesson. But people always say like, pay yourself first. And I was like, I don't care what that means. I don't know. I don't care to think about it. But when you get your paycheck and you set aside everything for all your necessary expenditures, so like bills and such, and then you set aside some money for savings and that's paying yourself first so then whatever you have left is not you just like like you won't just blow through it because or you can blow through it but you don't have to like feel guilty about it because you've already set aside this amount for savings prior to that instead of like blowing through it and being like shit i don't have anything left for the month to save it's already saved it's already done saved um so like automating it from your paycheck at work or just like budgeting so that you can take it out and put it in a savings account a high yield savings account at that by the way so that you're getting like above 2% instead of the whatever point percent you get at like a regular bank. Um, Yeah, that's that. I'm sure all, all of you know a lot of this, but for anyone who needed to hear that, I hope that helped because I needed to hear it way sooner than I actually heard it. Also, also I think it was Cozy Leon that commented like, is this even a playthrough anymore or just a podcast? It's just a podcast at this point. <laughs> but also something that I wish I told my younger self was freaking 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 start saving now and put it in a high yield savings account or a Roth IRA literally if you start saving now I think I've said this before I'm like yelling at everyone younger than me right now the same things you've already heard I'm like a grandma if you start saving it could be literally five dollars it could be five dollars a month it could be ten dollars a month whatever if you just put it just put a little bit aside just transfer a little bit over don't think about it it's not even your money anymore okay just don't think about it's not there put it in a high yield savings account or put it in a like reliable stock like google or apple okay that like is gonna go up regardless put it in a roth ira you're gonna be so thankful you're gonna be so thankful your later self is gonna be so so thankful okay (sighs) that's it i'm done i'm done i'm done (laughs) i'm done with that okay but i have been on my budget grind so you just had to hear it this week. I'm sorry. I still haven't figured out what we're doing this 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 beautiful day, but this beautiful playthrough. However, I'm just happy to, to talk to you guys again. Can you tell? I'm just excited. I have so many things to get off my chest. The next thing I wanted to talk about was the Try Guys drama. Oh my God. Y'all, right on the comments, tell me if you watched the Try Guys. Tell me if you had no idea who the Try Guys were. Tell me, and this has got to be like nobody because I know everybody heard about it. Tell me if you didn't, if you still don't know who the Try Guys are or what I'm talking about y'all when i say flabbergasted like that news took me by the throat and shoved me up against the wall and was like you thought you knew you thought you knew the world you lived in you don't you don't you never will what what i'm not even a like i watched the try guys when i was in high school it was like 20 i'm talking 2013 were they even out then maybe maybe it wasn't maybe it was 20. 14 2015 i don't know whenever they like when it first was a thing that's when i watched the try guys i didn't i haven't watched them since i haven't watched a single try guys since i'm gonna be honest with you not a single one oh it's raining oh my god oh my god oh my god what do we need when it's raining (gasps) this is like our last chance this is our last chance y'all but hearing that like i always just like in my mind thought of the try guys as like perfect angel babies like they're all such good guys nice guys good guys I, mm, 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 mm. okay, slime fish. Someone said the slime fish is in that other area. So I'm going to go back there. Catfish, secret woods, river, town. Okay. I can't do legend yet because I'm not right. Okay. So I'm just looking for catfish. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just going to fish all day. Once I get it, then I'll do piers, but we need to prioritize this because it's, it's got to be the only day it's raining. Anyways, I thought it was just the wildest news and to hear about the fact that he's like just a creepy dude just a creepy and kind of like kind of weird like i don't know bad vibes dude in general like a bunch of clips pulled up of like people's least favorite moments of his and one was like he told his co-worker like a, a girl under him oh 35 years th- like 35 years old good luck beating that biological clock like 
Do you think that's appropriate, sir? Are you not embarrassed? Ugh. And then just like little grows, like he was like really, really annoying and like relentless about astrology. Like Eugene was really excited to do this like astrology birth chart reading. And there was like, they brought on someone who specialized in it, I think. And he was just like being so disrespectful to like their interests and just like clearly didn't care about the, any them like as people. Because if you care about someone as a person, you're not going to like sit there and like, I'm going to prioritize me looking funny, which he didn't like an asshole but i'm gonna prioritize me looking funny over my friend's interests get out of here or smart that's the other that's the other hold on i need to focus yay we did it we did it i i i know because i used to be this person okay when i was in high school okay i used to be this person but and i was this way with like religion and astrology but i used to like shit on it to people who were clearly interested in it and liked it just to like differentiate myself and be like i'm smart and i'm i'm smart enough to think this is the stupidest thing ever and like everybody look how smart i am to like recognize that this thing is made up like shut up shut up like it's it's it comes from a place of insecurity which is why that's how i was in high school because every high school is insecure but it comes from such a place of insecurity you can tell and you can tell just like looking back in retrospect net is like just the epitome of like white boy insecure you know what i mean like i'm i'm trying to like hold on to anything that might make me slightly different or funny because i'm blending in with my friends and i need to seem smart or funny or whatever Oh, annoying. Sorry, I could rant about that forever. Where is Pierre? What is Pierre like? Anyways, and that's what he was doing the whole, like it was so uncomfortable. If you look at the clips, you can see like everybody shifting. They were all on Zoom, like shifting uncomfortably and just like, ugh, cause he just, he was like relentless. Like he kept going in like, mm-hmm, astrology's real. Mm-hmm, like shut up, dude. Play along, like the best people in general, the most like nice, interesting, you know, charismatic people, likable people. Play along with shit, okay? Ugh. Sorry, that's a pet peeve of mine. I'm triggered. <laughs> I'm triggered because I see saw my old self in that. Pierre likes fried calamari. Let's see if we have that. I feel like we do. Fried calamari. He also likes a rabbit's foot, but like, I don't want to give that to him. Do we not have fried calamari? I guess we don't. I guess we can give him... Oh, I forget that this man likes all of the like most interesting crap, like the most expensive stuff. He's a man of taste and he shouldn't be, right? Let's give him a freaking rabbit's foot. Ugh. Um, ooh, Friday traveling car also. Anyways, y'all, what are your thoughts on the Try Guy situation? Also, I don't even want to get into the fact that like uh, consent is for sure an issue here. Uh, just like inherently by default being... A workplace relationship where he's the boss Ugh. it's too much it's all too much i hate when you know you expect so little of a certain group of people and then they constantly prove you right okay let's go to the sewers why not why not let's go to the sewers okay and while we're fishing the other topic i literally screenshotted i screen screenshotted a couple things i screenshotted some reflections for us okay because i just i missed talking to you guys and i was like oh my god i need i need their thoughts i need their i need their updates i need everything but one thing is just one of the things those reflections are separate this is just a, a different thought altogether <gasps> i don't have my cork i don't have my cork on here oh no this is gonna be impossible I could barely catch the catfish. What makes me think I could catch a slime jack? It would be fun if some of the rare fish were just easy, you know? Just a little surprise. Surprise! The slime jack is easy because it's in this hard place. No worries. Here's just like a free rare fish. Be nice. Okay, this seems a little harder than the normal carp, right? This seems a little harder. <gasps> Yay! Okay, that... Okay, that kind of was, that's kind of what I was talking about. Just give me an easy catch, an easy catch for a late stage fish. Thank you, Slime Jack. Thank you. Now I can check both of these off. Slime Jack, catfish. Hell yeah. Tomorrow we should go to, oh, we should check the weather to see if it's, it's sunny first on Ginger Island. Okay, the thought I have, I didn't think I was going to catch the Slime Jack that fast. The thought I have is um, this TikTok I saw where this woman was talking about how when you are neurodivergent and just to just to reiterate like attention deficit disorders attention disorders in general ADD ADHD all those things is included in that hold on let me just okay I don't think I need any of that wait parsnips did I need parsnips 
<gasps> Didn't I need parsnips? I think I did. I think I was, I need parsnips, but I was growing them. I was hoping that they would grow. I don't think we need that anymore. Sick. One thing that we tend to do is, and this is obviously not a blanket. This is just like how some people deal with avoiding meeting your needs or avoiding um, assessing your needs. And oh boy, this, this one got me. Hold on, let me love on them first. One way we avoid meeting our needs or having to just address them is by keeping your schedule so full that actually i don't even think she was saying it's just meeting needs it's like ways you handle handle your neurodivergency and kind of like executive dysfunction and, and all of the the different factors of that one of the ways is keeping your schedule so packed so full that you don't have an option to like you don't have to choose what to do so like because the pressure of deciding what to do and deciding what you need to do getting something done like deciding how to order things in order to get them done because that alone can be so overwhelming for people who are neuro neurodivergent instead if you keep your schedule so packed which y'all i've talked about this before i talked about how i used to do this all the time and how <laughs> I, I attribute it to like chaos. I was like, I just work better in chaos. Like I work better when I can just like boom, 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 boom. And there's no room for me to like procrastinate. It's looking at it in this way, reframing it in this way is like, I, I keep my schedule so packed so that like, I don't have to be the one to make the decisions. I don't have to be the one to like set deadlines. I don't have to be the one to plan. Instead, that's done for me just by how packed my schedule is and the fact that I have to do it in this time because in the next hour I have to do this and in the next hour I have to do this and it's done for me. I don't have to wild, red to filth. Ooh, did I want to get rid of all those? I don't know if I did. Well, uh, yeah. So if that sounds familiar, if, that, if that's something you relate to, um, let's unpack that together. What I will do about it, I don't know, because you know what? It works for me. It works for me. And when I don't do that, I immediately, oh my God, y'all. When I don't do that, oh my God. <laughs> It's just funny, the realizations, like the times in my life where I haven't had a full schedule, I've felt like I like it takes it takes everything in me. And even then, sometimes I just can't do it to like do anything on my to do list. I just can't. I can't do it. It's not happening. I can't. It's like the most excruciating thing ever. But if I have a packed schedule, it it's fine because I'm already doing something. So the next thing that I have to do isn't that hard to get started because I'm already doing things. I'm in the flow. I'm, I, I'm going, 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 going. So starting something new isn't that hard or isn't that difficult. Hello. Are you a workaholic or are you simply neurodivergent and don't know how to start tasks and 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 organize your time uh, without that? Anyways, ponder that. I'm the one who needs to ponder that, not you. I think, oh, I was going to say, I say we go to Ginger Island, but I missed that. I missed that opportunity, didn't I? So that was one of my thinky thoughts for today. Let me know if you relate to that because who? Ooh, that dragged me and the other one which I relate a little bit less to a lot a bit less to actually because I I think I had to force a sort of independence when I was younger so this I don't know it doesn't totally apply to me but the second point she made was a lot of neurodivergent people can t can end up in borderline abusive or abusive relationships where somebody is telling them what to do or somebody feels like they're taking the lead in the beginning because in the beginning you know obviously an uh, abusive relationship develops over time so in the beginning they just seem strong and confident and they are telling you to, you know you should do this and you should do this and in a friendly way at first and in a seemingly innocent way at first and then that seems appealing because it's somebody that can kind of like make decisions for you and do things for you and and you can just follow along in their journey of life and you don't have to make those decisions and you don't have to set a structure or something like that because they're doing that and they're happy to do that for you because they're controlling yeah so that can kind of be a, a relationship pattern for some people and my best friend heavily related to that so if that if if that's if that's ringing any bells let me know it's just tiktok is so amazing tiktok really is is a form of therapy in, in a lot of ways but my thing is like okay now what thank you now what Thanks so much. I'm just going to go to bed early. I have nothing to do. I want to go to Ginger Island. Thanks. Now what? Like I, yeah. Okay. So if I do give myself time to breathe, then I can't do anything. So now what, bestie? What do I do then, bestie? How do I find a healthy balance, bestie? 
I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Someone let me know if you figured it out. Okay, it's Emily's birthday. I think we're best friends with Emily already. I think we're good with Emily. We are. And we're besties with Pierre. Jody and Evelyn could use a little, oh my God. I just have so much work to do with, on friendship. It's overwhelming me. It just takes so much time out of the day to go and bring everyone a present. I wanna do that. Okay, I'm doing my animals and then I'm going to Ginger Island. That's it. I think that's all I, oh, I, oh, I'm gonna check the, <laughs> I'm gonna check the parsnips recipe. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm out of breath. Do not eat the egg. Do not eat the egg. You know what I really lost sight of? What time is it? Okay. I lost sight of cheersing. Cheers. Loop. I used to cheers y'all all the time and I miss it. I miss it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm gonna start it back up again. You hear me? I won't let you down like that again. Never. Okay, parsnip recipe and then what? Or did I need to sell? No, I didn't need to sell parsnips. Oh my god. Oh my god. So many ancient seeds. Okay, while we do this, I will, I will share the reflections that I have. The first reflection, it's like just reflection journal type journaling type things what are you proud of that you accomplished this month and feel free to write these out in the comments if you if you need a little reflection time all right because i listen this is actually something that i decided this month by this month i mean like past month september is that i'm not a journal girly i'm not a journal girly i'm a journal when the inspiration sparks when when i have something on my mind then i will journal i'll journal the hell out of something when it's something's on my mind i need to work through something i'll journal okay or i'll talk to you guys about it i'm not like uh, so many morning routine things are like journal in the morning journal every morning and i'm just i've realized that's never gonna be me and that's okay i've come to terms with the fact that that's that's okay and i can journal in the way that is best works best for me and i actually need and is fulfilling and helpful so if you are if you like me <laughs> are somebody who's just like i i'm gonna journal when i want to okay i'm gonna journal when you know it's been a while and i need i need a little reflection time instead of every single day here's a little reflection for you now's the time if you feel like it the first one what are you proud of that you accomplished this month since it's the beginning of the month, let's say September. What are you proud of that you accomplished in September? For me, part of me, I will say I'm very proud of the little like LA trip that I did where I did a bunch of things. I did a bunch of scary things, okay? I did things I never thought in my life I was capable of doing like ever, like networking type, speaking type, like acting type things. Never, never. Never, never. I'm proud of myself. That's it. That's that. I'm proud that I did that. I'm proud that my trajectory of my content career is, is feel, feels at least to me that it's like climbing steadily and that's fun and it's exciting. And I'm proud that I, I don't, you know, say no to opportunities that scare me and I just take them on. Now your turn. What are you proud of? Okay, next. Ooh, what challenged you this month? So again, last month can i say the same thing i'm gonna say the same thing what challenged me was actually you know what no what what challenged me even more was getting through the freaking hump of emotions that i was going through i don't know if i fully talked about it on the playthroughs but y'all i was going through it i was going through it i was ready to like drop everything in my life and run away and not have a single responsibility ever except my content because I love my content always um and I'm not just saying that I, that I just like I was like I only care about this this is this is all I want to do I hate everything else <laughs> and I was just freaking out about it like genuinely having a breakdown about it like nearly every day nearly every day I could like I could not get my mind off of it and I was in such a like negative place like it wasn't like a bad place necessarily it was just a negative I was in such a negative place could not get out of it for the life of me so that was hard that was really hard because it was hard to like show up every day for things i needed to show up for i was just like i i oh my god it was rough it was rough but we made it out we made it out on the other side y'all we made it out on the other side um don't know how 
but we did. Okay, I'm putting these in the thing. I'm putting these over here. Yeah, so that was my that was my challenge this month is making it out on the other side of that. So what's yours? Let me hear it. Let me hear it. What was your challenge? Also, feel free to just answer like one of these that speaks to you too. I need to look at the recipe that requires a parsnip. I feel like it's a parsnip salad or something. Or is it the seeds? Was it the crafting seeds? <gasps> Frick, y'all. Oh my god, it was the eel. I needed the eel. <laughs> I needed the eel. I'm gonna cry. I needed the eel to make the soup and the eel was when it was raining. Oh, it's also fall. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm just gonna uncheck it just so that I it's called to my attention. Am I rain tomorrow? Who knows? Probably not. Um, parsnip, parsnip. Farmer's lunch. Okay, I need an omelet and I need a parsnip. Okay, farmer's lunch. Omelet? Is that it? Yeah, nice. Cool. What's the next question? Ugh, I hate, I hate what are you grateful for? So I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> That's the next one. What are three things you're grateful for? I hate those and I always end up doing generic things because I feel like, and maybe this is, maybe I should unpack this, okay? Maybe I should be more grateful. I don't know, but I feel like I am generally grateful for the things in my life and I gen generally reflect on my, I don't know, the things around me. I just, I don't know. I, I don't like, it. Whatever. I don't like those. And like so many like journal prompts that are like, do this every day are like every single one is like three, three affirmations, three things you're grateful for. It doesn't help me. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything. Affirmations. Sure. Fine. Grateful for it. No, stop it. Okay. Next. How did you rest this month? Y'all know that I never rest. So I can't answer that question. I will say how I rested yesterday, which is that I bought a coloring book to my Amazon storefront. Um, hobbies cozy hobbies section i created a cozy hobbies uh amazon list because why would i not so many cozy hobbies to get into hobbies are how you rest and unwind okay and so yeah yesterday i colored a little coloring page and that's that it was very nice it was lovely what a great time and i just had youtube i had like long youtube on and long youtube what i had long youtube I had long YouTube on in the back. Nope, let me explain that. I had like longer form YouTube videos on in the background, like kind of like video essays and stuff. And it felt so nice. I felt like my brain was regenerating and I well, and was a person again and not like, you know, 15 seconds of TikTok videos swiping. That's me all day, every day. But for a moment, for a moment, I didn't feel that way. Yeah, that's it. That's the only, only, that was, I think my only downtime for the month and that was this month so i don't think i had any downtime in september yeah okay next what is something that you learned <laughs> learned what is the grammatical grammatically correct is it learned what is something you learned this month learned with a t i would say learned or does it not matter is it the same thing hmm. query query as to what the correct word is i'm gonna look it up in a second because i can't stand not knowing something okay it's like a uk learnt they're correct past tense past particle participle of the verb learn learnt is just a uk type thing okay interesting what's something i learnt? <laughs> um what something i learnt? that was bad let me try it again what no i'm not gonna do it oh the thing i just talked to you all about about finances that's what i learned just having a specific goal makes all the difference i won't keep talking about it because you guys heard me talk for a long time okay next your turn to answer by the way chop chop a relationship that you're grateful for also something i i don't i don't like grateful questions okay it's gonna be the same answers every time word of the month word of the month hmm. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make it a sound and it's gonna be mm. 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 that's what it's gonna be that's the word of the month word for the next month patience patience is gonna be the word for the next month this month is all about patience for me timing is everything time the time the right time for everything shall come don't rush it let enjoy the life you live now find joy in in the life you're living now if you're if you're anticipating something now i just i just missed it i'm gonna go to ginger i think tomorrow misses it by one second <sighs> okay well guess what tomorrow i don't really know what to do today i guess i'll go get emily a beer does she like coffee? I think she likes... Ooh, carb surprise. I'm gonna get her a coffee. I feel like Emily likes everything. Here you go, babe. Ooh, am I not close with Kent? I don't think I am. He does not come here often. You don't you come here often, cowboy? No. Okay, I'm gonna get him a beer. Come here. You are so welcome. What was I saying? Oh, I was saying 
if you're anticipating something, if you're feeling like, oh, I just need, um, I don't want to do any of those because I don't have to. How about that? If you're feeling like I just need, I just need to get here. I just need to wait till this. I just need for this to happen. I just need for this to happen. It will. Stop thinking about it. Okay. I'm telling this to myself too, because this was me entire last, last month. Stop thinking about it. Shut up. Shut. Tell your mind when that happens, shut up. Find something to enjoy in that day, in that moment, whatever, or go create something to enjoy in that day, in that moment, whatever, and just live that happiness for as long as you can until you have to go to work or until you have to whatever whatever create little pockets little pieces of joy and stop stop going i'll be happy once once this this thing happens i'll be happy yes you will you will and that's awesome but one you can find a little bit a little bit of happiness in the present and two what if that happens and you're not happy then what then what then what so you need a plan b which is to just be able to find happiness in your current state in any given moment never get any given state and i know that's easier said than done and i am still figuring that out when you figure it out let me know <laughs> I'm going to stop yapping. It, this was a chatty day. This was a chatty. This was full podcast version. Podcast started. Let's play. I'm so sorry. Oh, let's check the weather. <gasps> Sunny day tomorrow. I can go get pepper fish. Uh, it's going to be early night tonight, friends. Because I, guess what? I'm doing animals and then immediately Ginger Island. Actually, actually, I'm going to do traveling cart and then immediately Ginger Island. <gasps> you want to hear something so assholey that Sheila did? He's such an ass. Like, he is such a little demon. He's a demon. I love that boy, but he is a demon. He, first of all, he cut me. This morning, he tried to, like, cuddle up with me. I don't know if you can see that, but he tried to cuddle up with me, and I, like, made a sound. I was just like, mm. And he, sp he, like, leaped, leapfrogged off of my arm and sliced it as he went. That wasn't the demon thing. That's just, you know, cat, normal cat behavior. That's fine. He today, he, I had the door closed because Maya's partner was here and I was just like, I have stuff to do. I'm going to keep the door closed. And he was in here and he was meowing because it was like, you know, time to eat and he wanted to go downstairs. The food wasn't there yet, but you know, he needs to be there an hour earlier to just in case, just in case. He was, he was just meowing and meowing and meowing. I was like, I know, Chila, hold on one sec. I'm finishing up something and I'll let you out. Meowing, meowing, meowing. Scratching at the door, meowing. Okay. And he normally doesn't do this. Normally he's like fine chilling inside. It's just when food's involved, he's like, no, no, no. I need to keep an eye on that thing. Okay. Ooh, that was a big, a big, a big. Oh, so he was meowing, meowing, scratching the door, coming back, meowing. Two things, two things in this situation you need to know. I have a poof under my desk. He's, he's known to pee on poof like things as are many cats, but he, he doesn't, he's never peed on anything up here except once very one time. And it was because he was being an asshole and he was trying to make a point. Okay. Other than that, never never and he doesn't pee on stuff up here because this is his safe space he only pees on poof like things and pillow like things downstairs in a specific area which i figured out is just his chair he's territorial about his chair he's weird okay so those those two things are true he doesn't pee up here and i have the poof under under my desk i think that was it okay he gets on the poof looks at me in the eyeballs does his little he does this like thing when he's peeing on purpose. I've seen him done it. I've seen him do it once. And it, cause he looks you in the eyes and he does this thing where he kicks his back legs and he's looking at you and he's kicking his back legs, getting prepared to squat. He does a little thing where he squats, kicks his back legs and then pees really fast and runs off. Before he peed, because I already knew what was up and I already knew he was agitated. He was kicking his back legs and I go, Chila! and he sprints off cause he knew what he was doing. He knew what he was doing. And he sprints off and he waits by the door like, yeah, open it. Open it, beach. That's what I wanted. So I have a demon cat is the moral of that story. I have a demon cat. He's so rude and assholey and manipulative. You guys, I'm being manipulated by my cat and he knows it. He knows what he's doing. He looks at me and goes, I've never peed on this poof before. I've never even cared about this poof, but because you are not letting me out in this second, I'm gonna pee on it. Little asshole. Look, I'm getting distracted by it. Like sometimes I'm like, he doesn't know better. He's just being territorial. I think he does. And now I think all of his little instances where he's peed, ooh, amaranth, shrimp. 
Now I'm rethinking all the instances he's peed downstairs. And I do think some of it's territorial. I think his chair area is territorial. But I do think some of it earlier when he was like peeing on stuff on the couch, that wasn't territorial. I mean, it was. But I think it was because... Hi, Zula. I think it was because my partner was was coming over more and he didn't know him and he didn't like it. And because I would stay over there sometimes. So I think he would like be mad that I was gone and pee. And there's been a couple times where he's just like, I've come home from a, a long trip recently, like a weekend trip, not long, weekend trip. And he's just like peed as soon as i get home he's like peed in the entryway just on the floor on the floor in the wood and like i've checked the litter box and whatever and they're very distinct like these are not it i already ruled out the like health things it's not that y'all it's not like little accidents whoopsie it's like he's intentionally doing it and like that's all he's just a little asshole but i love him but i love him is this what dating a, a asshole man is like can't relate but I can't want to see. Oh, look at him. Now he's just licking himself in the, in, the, in the bed and Azula's watching. Watching. So sweet. Hi. Oh, all the girlies are out today. Hey, girlies. Hey, y'all. I do want to build a sandcastle. Profound healing energy. Okay, Emily. So does anyone else know how we get that recipe? No. Why would you close the beach resort? I don't understand. All right, here's to getting the puffer fish, y'all. That's the goal for today. Just get a puffer fish. I have a feeling I'm gonna be upset. <sighs> okay, is there a specific time? I think there might have been a specific time. 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. All right, I'm here. Oh, this looks like, this seems like it's it. Oh my God. We have one hour, we have one hour. This is the ocean, this is the ocean. Ginger Island Ocean. Oh my god, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, for sure, for sure, that's it. Frick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Yay! Puffer fish, we got the puffer fish, we got the puffer fish. Can I serve Emily? I am, um, no, okay. Oh my god, whew, that one was scary. Oh, that's fun, Maru. Okay, we got the puffer fish. Okay, there's nothing else to get that's just Ginger Island. No other fishing that we need. Everything else is I, either requires level 10 fishing or is spring, summer, fall, or winter. I mean, summer, fall, or winter. Inventory full. Oh, fooey. I did not do the rest of my... Why am I like this? All right, I'm just gonna go home. That was fun. We got a puffer fish. Mark my words, I will organize these at some point. I will. I will. All right. At some point, I will. There should be like a truffle dish. Why is there not a truffle dish? Like truffle pasta. Who here is still playing uh, Disney Dream My Valley? Because I am. And I will only continue to, to be honest with you. I will only continue to. What is the point of squid ink? Should I do anything other than sell it? Oh. It's six o'clock, they're sprinting down. All right, it's gonna be early night tonight because I know I yapped for so long and this is gonna be already a long video, so. <gasps> oh my God, I think I should do fish worth 50% more. I just, I feel like there's nothing that cool in treasure ever, so. I chose it, I didn't even look at the guide this time, I just chose it, look at that. Wow! <gasps> Oh no, it's the last day of spring. The last day of spring. And I could have I could have caught the legend. I couldn't have caught the legend. But okay, at least now I have all of next spring to try to attempt to catch the legend. But does that mean all of my all of my or do I still have combat left? <gasps> okay, I still have combat. I still have combat, which we can do. We can work on that maybe next time. Let's do a cozy corner. I haven't been on my stories too much to, I haven't been in my DMs enough lately to um, be looking for a cozy friend of the week, but hopefully, oh my God, y'all. I love seeing this tag become something so beautiful. First of all, Cozy Sat 2 Games, just absolutely killing it. I love every single thing you have posted. Check Wally's Garden, 
bring gifts to villagers, feed the critters. Have fun, that's so cute. It's daily things to do in Disney Dreamlight Valley. That's actually very helpful because I feel like I'm very behind and I really appreciate that. And then we have Cozy Saju Games, beautiful post that is lovely. Oh my God, and another one. Y'all are gonna see all of these. Y'all are gonna see all of these. Amazing, thank you. Torchy, we have another Torchy post. Hey yo. And what is this? Oh my God, another Cozy Nerd Crossing picture. Oh y'all, I love. It's because, oh, I'm like, why are there so many? Because I missed last week because I was in Portland. So y'all are getting double the cozy corner, which means, you know what? It's okay if we don't have a cozy friend of the week. Actually, we have three cozy friends of the week. It's Cozy Nerd Crossing, it's Cozy Statue Games, and it's Torchy for contributing so much to the cozy corner hashtag. I love you. I love you. And I love all of you. And thank you for listening to me babble this week. I'm excited to finish up this year with y'all and really fun and exciting and cool life changes and things happening in 2023. And I can't wait to share that with you. And I can't wait to gush and, and you know, share that with you in general. That's all. I love you. Um, Say cozy. Bye. Bye.